In this video, I want to talk about how you're probably not having fun the right way, <laughs> which is a strange thing to say. But I see this from time to time with people when I ask them, are you having fun in your life? Usually when I'm trying to show them that how important it is to have fun, if you want to be productive. They show up with procrastination issues and having guilt-free fun is one of the very first things we have to put into place if you are going to be productive. But here's the, the point of this video is we don't know how to do that because people often tell me, well, you know, I'll ask them, well, what do you do for fun? Are you having fun? And they say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch, uh, I watch movies. I play video games. I go for a walk. I play music. I go swimming. I do all these things. And it's like, oh, well, this person is already having fun. So, you know, I guess I can move on to the next thing here. There's no need to worry about that. Until we delve a little deeper into that and we find out, here's the question. How do you feel when you're doing those things? And I want you to answer, answer that question for yourself. How do you feel when you're having fun or you're doing these fun things? And very often the answer is, you know, I feel a bit guilty when I do that, when I'm doing those things. I'm not really enjoying it. Or they'll feel when I'm doing those things, those fun things, which as I've said, is essential for productivity. What they'll say is I am second guessing myself all the time when I'm doing those things. So I'm at the swimming pool and I'm thinking, you know, I really should have been working on that report or they're working on the report and they're saying, you know, I really should have exercised this morning or I got to do that later. So it's just, or I should be doing it now. Or it's always second guessing what they're doing and thinking they should be doing something different to the thing they're currently doing. But ultimately the most important thing is that they're feeling guilt about what they're doing or having not done enough of what it is that you're doing or need to do later. So the question is, then we say, okay, well, look, that's actually not having fun. That doesn't sound like fun because if you feel guilty, how are you having fun? But the question comes up, well, okay, tell me the solution. How do I have fun? Because I, I talk about it, Neil Fiore talks about it in his book. Also, the importance of guilt-free play or non-negotiable, guilt-free fun, you could call it? Well, here's the answer. How do you have fun without guilt? You need to take it seriously. Okay? Isn't that almost an oxymoron? Have a serious attitude towards fun? What I mean by that is, we tend to engage in these things that are fun, but we kind of fall into them passively. In order to remove guilt, what we have to do is validate it. We have to be more intentional with it. We have to prioritize it. We have to engage with it consciously, proactively, rather than passively. And it's in the doing it intentionally, and by that I mean, you know, the serious thing is, scheduling it, setting aside time for it, making sure that it's a part of your day. And in doing that, that validation or that proactive choosing of it or scheduling it is the thing that validates it. It makes it worthy. It makes it okay. It makes it um, justified in our minds. So this is just a, a way to say in order to get to the point where you are having guilt-free play, non-negotiable guilt-free play, it should be something that you are scheduling. Especially if you have procrastination problems. Because that little have-to voice in your mind that's saying you should be doing this, should be doing that, you have to do that, you should have done it yesterday. And it always leads to the second-guessing and indecision all the time. It will highlight and cause anxiety about the fact that you should be doing that thing that you don't really want to do. Okay, I call it responsibility. That's, there's nothing wrong with that, that there are things in life that we feel like we have to do. Well, 
things that we don't really always enjoy. We see them as an obligation or a responsibility. And some of that in life is fine. But there tends to be this thing of, okay, I'm focusing on it all the time. And yeah, I'll get to that fun stuff later. Or I'll get to that fun stuff if I've done X, Y, and Z in this uh, responsibility stuff. Non-negotiable guilt-free play means it shouldn't be contingent on whether or not you've had a productive day. Non-negotiable. Validate it. Make it important. Make it just as, as, at least equally important to your responsibility tasks. So that is my suggestion for how you remove guilt around your play. And by play, I just mean it can be different things for different people, but the real central part of what it means to play is there's a few aspects to it. I, in any way, I think if it, the first aspect of it is it's restful. It's rejuvenating. It typically has no goal-oriented energy around it. In my book, Procrastination Decoded, I also refer to it as embracing your inner slob. So it's those things that, you know, you kind of feel, oh, well, video games, you know, I shouldn't be playing those. Those are kind of bad, right? Um, not really. Not really. Maybe it'll work for you. Sometimes it helps people really relax. There's no, there's no bad activities necessarily, right? Assuming you're not being, um, you know, obviously <laughs> doing something dangerous or harmful for yourself. But video games, you're watching movies, it could be going for a walk, it could be doing things, but it shouldn't be stressful, it shouldn't be overly um, exerting yourself. So that part of ourselves is not a bad part. And the need for play and rest and relaxation needs to be taken, again, to repeat myself, taken seriously. And, you know, for those people who are still on the fence about my approach to this, I really want to just reach you right now. If you are struggling with procrastination and you really want to get over this issue, I want you to listen to me. Your problem isn't motivation. Your problem is that you don't validate a very essentially important part of yourself. You see it as a liability or you see it as a luxury that you may get around to eventually, but only if you're productive. That is not the way to think about this. That is not a healthy attitude. That is not the way productive people think. And that was a surprise to me. The more people I talk to, I realize that people are, who are genuinely productive, or, or, or even more than that, people who are genuinely productive slash creative tend to have a pretty healthy attitude towards rest and play. So, the invitation again, guys, prioritize it, schedule it. See it as non-negotiable for yourself. That will remove guilt from these activities. You're sanctioning it. You're giving it the two thumbs up. Yes, this is okay now. We're doing this on purpose. This is not something I've just fallen into passively. Do that and that part of the shadow, which I talked about in the past, comes out of the shadow. You're integrating this healthy part of yourself and now this other part that wants to be productive it's like there's no handbrake on in the car. And um, there are still things in terms of overcoming inertia that you'll have to deal with with procrastination. And I've talked about those before and I can talk about them again in terms of actually starting the work, you know. But a big, big part of this is the lack of validation for guilt-free play. So just another invitation, guys. Take it seriously. If you really want to go to the next level with your productivity, if you want to start reaching those goals, more creative in your life prioritize guilt free play guys thanks a million as always for watching these videos it means uh, a lot to me and uh, when you watch the video or if you like the video or subscribe to this channel it helps me reach more people and uh, that's really what I'm focused on is, is helping people to get this information because it's life changing and it changed my life and it's changing the lives of people who are adopting this new paradigm about productivity. So when you do that, it really helps out and I appreciate it greatly. 
Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.